What do you mean by a proportional integral controller or a PI controller? Well, my name is Rishi Ramju. Welcome to the Backwards Engineering Community, where I make engineering easy for you. So, let us ask yourself that obvious question. What do you actually mean by the term proportional integral controller? Well, let's find out. So, PI controller or a proportional integral controller. So, as the name suggests, this kind of a controller is a proportional controller and it has got something to do with integral. So that's what we can deduce from the primary analysis of the name PI controller or a proportional integral controller. So let's simplify that concept. Let us consider a basic control system which has got a forward loop gain of say G. Let us provide a particular input over here say R of T. And now this input is provided over here and we get an output over here C of T. Let us now provide a unit negative feedback like this. So this is a basic negative, a basic unit negative feedback control system that we have seen with an open loop transfer function, a forward gain transfer function of G. So here what we do is that in order to control this particular control system, we have to use something. That is where we use a controller. A controller is used to control the characteristics of this particular control system. So now let us assume that we need to reduce the steady state error and subsequently by reducing the steady state error if we need to increase the overall gain of this particular control system that is when we use a proportional integral controller. So here for that what we do is that over here we now place a particular controlling element over here. So this is a proportional integral controller. So here what we observe is that whatever signal is produced over here this is provided over here over here like this and it gets added over here and then whatever it is present over here this is what you refer to as the error signal E of T and now the output of this particular controller is U of T. So now here according to a proportional integral controller what they say is that this particular output signal u of t is proportional to this particular error signal e of t. This is the proportional part and it is also proportional to the integral of this particular error signal e of t. That is what you refer to as a proportional integral controller. That is, it is proportional to just the error signal E of T and also it is proportional to the integral of this particular error signal E of T. So now, in order to eliminate this particular proportion, we need proportional constants. So let us take now U of T is equal to multiplying a proportional constant over here, we'll get Kp into E of T plus Ki into integral of e of t dt. So here now in order to find the transfer function we know that the transfer function is given as the output divided by the input. So for that we have to now take the Laplace transform. So on taking the Laplace transform we would get u of s is equal to kp into e of s which is the Laplace transform of e of t plus ki multiplied by the Laplace transform of an integral of a particular function is given as e of s divided by s. So now upon taking e of s common outside we would get u of s is equal to e of s multiplied by kp plus ki divided by s. So now the transfer function is nothing but the output divided by the input. So here the output is u of s and the input is u of s. So here upon taking this to the denominator we would get u of s divided by e of s which is a transfer function which is equal to let us take this particular factor that is kp outside. So kp multiplied by 1 plus ki 
divided by here since you have taken kp outside this kp must go to a denominator over here so kp into s so here let us take this kp by ki that is let us take let kp by ki is equal to a particular constant say ti so now when we put this constant over here we would get u of s divided by e of s is equal to kp multiplied by 1 plus 1 divided by ti into s this is the required transfer function of this particular pi controller or this is the gain of this particular proportional integral controller So, this is simply what you refer to as a proportional integral controller and this is how you design a required proportional integral controller or a PI controller. As simple as that guys, there's nothing more to it. So, I hope you guys now have a clear understanding of what you refer to as a proportional integral controller. And if you guys found this video informative, please do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button. We'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned, stay subscribed. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.